Hello my dear friends I hope you all are having some time for the personal things while doing MBBS PG or even preparing for PG So today we are going to learn about Bethesda classification system why it was developed what is its significance and the other things So let's first understand why Bethesda was developed see with Bethesda is a FNSE reporting system which is done by the pathologist. It was developed in the year 2007 by the National Cancer Institute because the previous reporting system had some problems. The previous reporting system had three classes like benign, indeterminate or malignant. So it was quite broad and especially this indeterminate class was missing fine in fine discriminations. So Bethesda classification system was developed uh has we know it is a fnse reporting system so first of all let's understand something about the fnse how it is done and uh, what is an adequate fnse sample say if a patient of a thyroid swelling comes to your opd the first thing you do is ultrasound which will tell you about thyroid scores so if it is thyroid 1 and 2 you don't need to do fnse If it is thyroid three and the size of the lesion is more than two point five centimeter, mind you, more than or equal to two point five centimeter, then you need to do FNSC. In thyroid four, if the size of the lesion is more than or equal to one point five centimeter, then you need to do FNSC. In thyroid five, if the size of the lesion is more than or equal to one centimeter, then you need to do FNSC. So, let us see how it is done. and what is adequate sample fnsc see fnsc can be done without usc guidance but it is always good to do it under usc guidance the advantage of doing it under usc guidance is like you can take the sample from the solid area of the thyroid lesion it might contain cystic area also so you have to take the fnsc specimen sample from the solid area component and that too from the suspicious area of the solid component so that is the advantage of doing it with uh, ultrasound guidance and that is why it has a higher yield better results and for doing uh, fnsc you need to use uh, needle size 23 to 27 gauge most commonly used 23 24 gauge needle is there so what is adequate sample let's understand that also a uh, adequate sample for uh, fnsc is it should contain at least 6 at least 6 follicles and each follicle should at least contain 10 to 15 cells and this should be present in at least two aspirates Okay, so now we have understood about FNSC. Let's understand what is Bethesda classes, and what are its surgical implications. So Bethesda one, it is non-diagnostic. Why it is non-diagnostic? Because the aspirate is almost. a cellular so what you have to do you have to do repeat fn ac and see repeat fn ac should be done usg guided now let us understand bethesda 2 bethesda 2 is benign lesion so in this you can either give assurance to the patient or if patient wants surgery for cosmetic purposes then you can go ahead and do the surgery now let us understand bethesda 3 Bethesda 3 is very interesting it is AUS or FLUS plus 
So AUS and FLUS. AUS is atypia of unknown significance and FLUS is follicular lesion of unknown significance. So what should be done in this condition? In AUS and FLUS, you need to do FNSC repeat. So you have to repeat the FNS. And again, suppose if comes AUS or FLUS, then you can go ahead and do the surgery. That is hemithyroidectomy. Or if the tumor is involved in both the lobes, then you can do near total thyroidectomy also. So what is the chances of malignancy in Bethesda 3? The chance of it being malignant in the final histopathological specimen is 10 to 15%. And uh, now let us see Bethesda. Four. Which is follicular neoplasm or suspicious for follicular neoplasm. What do we do in this? The chances of it being malignant in the final histopathological specimen is 15 to 35%. So it is a fair amount of risk. So what should we do is we can do lobectomy of the involved lobe. And if in the final histopathological specimen it comes out to be malignant, then you can do completion. Completion thyroidectomy. Completion thyroidectomy. Now let us see what is Bethesda 5. Bethesda. Bethesda 5 is suspicious for malignancy. And the chances of it being malignant is 60 to 75 percent. This is a huge risk. So what will you do? You will do either lobectomy or near total thyroidectomy. Now let us see. Bethesda 5 sorry Bethesda 6 Bethesda 6 is malignant on FNSC malignant on FNSC so obviously what will you do you will do near total or total thyroidectomy or total thyroidic to me and uh, what is the chances of it being malignant after the report of final histopathological specimen it is about 97 to 99 percent i hope i was able to make you understand about bethesda classification system and uh, basics of the fnc what is adequate sample when do we do it in the next video, I will be telling you in detail about the tirades scoring system. So we will meet in the next video. By the time, go enjoy your life and don't compromise it with studies obviously. But don't forget to enjoy your life. Even if you are doing PG preparation or PG, then also you have to have some time for self-care and enjoying your life.